channel if you're new here my name is fun I'm a Thai expat who has been living in Shanghai China for 10 days in today's video I am going to give it a shout out for the Hyatt Regency Shanghai Hotel it is a great opportunity for me to showcase this hotel because in the past when I was living in Thailand reviewing the hotel is one of my hobby I have done that so many many times so I'm just thinking about starting this new hotel review with you in Shanghai China and I'm going to talk a little bit also about the process when you arrive in China what is the first thing you have to do for example the residential form you may know or might not know that okay once we land in China we need to register ourselves the residence form and stuff like that so I would just kind of like add up some of this detail in this video and in this video it is going to be the first time that I am experiencing Shanghai Metro very excited right without further ado let's go this new place i will be staying here for one month why i am looking for the apartment and stay tuned for the apartment hunting episode i think it's going to be one of my favorite episode so and also here's my favorite spot in the bathroom <laughs> the bathtub i think this is going to be my favorite area Ugh. and i am so proud of myself i made it to shanghai I made it to this new job, new journey, this new beautiful place, this new beautiful country. I'm really proud and happy and grateful to be here. Bright and shine. Good morning everyone from Shanghai. I just woke up and I will take you a tour to the breakfast line at Hyatt Shanghai. I'm starving. I didn't eat much yesterday because I just want to eat a lot this morning, okay? So let's go with me. My friend told me that there is this robot who is giving out room service to the hotel guest. It is very cute. I would like to try one. Maybe I will order something. So cute! <laughs> me and the robot. Okay? Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay, off you go first. Have a nice day. that I can find it here today. The best. This is also my favorite. I don't know what does it call, but it's very crispy. It's a special kind of bread that we can find in China. It's very crispy. Here we go, ASMR. 
today I have a very important appointment to go into the city center to the hospital to have my medical checkup. Me as a foreigner who come here um, to work in Shanghai, we need to have the work permit here. And medical checkup is one part of the process in order to complete the work permit. So basically when I arrive here, I have this um, work permit sticking on my passport. But this initial first work permit, this one is just for me to enter China mainland. Once I enter China, I will need to continue with another step, another processes in order to complete my permanent work permit. Let me put it that way. So basically this process will take several weeks. Yeah, talking a little bit about the work permit and some difficulties of being here in the first month as a foreigner. So for me, I can not open the bank account unless I have my work permit completed. And why is this so important? Due to the fact that Shanghai is the completely cashless society. I would say 99% cashless society, like people are not using cash at all. They are scanning while we share Alipay, credit card or whatsoever. But for me, okay, I have cash in my hand. Like, have you ever had the moment that, okay, you have money, you have cash, where you cannot spend it? Like, this is happening to me right now. Because imagine, yesterday I went to the mall, I bought something that is cost me 99 yuan. So I gave the shop seller a 100 yuan bill. And then it took her a very, really long time to find me just one yuan coin to give me back in return. And I was like so surprised that, okay, people here don't use cash at all. And why is this so important? Because, okay, I can use credit card when I would like to buy things. But for example, if I would like to get in a taxi, like for example, this DD app that normally people use as a grab taxi that we use. And with DD, I asked my friend, we cannot link DD with credit card. So in order to use DD, we need to have the bank account only, the only option. So it's going to be a little difficult for me. So right now I keep collecting some small bills, like 20 yuan bill, 50 yuan bills in order to survive for the rest of the month. So yeah, my work permit is expected to be completed by end of January. And then I would be able to open my bank account in February, something like that. So by the time, I would think my life will be much more easier. Yeah, anyways, it's an exciting day because I will Go there in the city center of Shanghai and then you guys just have some fun with me, okay? Let's go! And again, I just checked the temperature today this morning. It's 6 degrees Celsius. It's really cold, especially in the morning. So here I will need to wear thick clothes, something that I'm not getting used to when I'm in Thailand. I think it's going to be good enough for me today to go outside. Okay, so here we go, line 10, and we have to turn left. But before we turn left, let me just show you this part of the city. It is really cool. So right now I am literally under, under the road. There are so many exits to go, like five, six exits. Ticket vending machine, let me just try. Hey, English, please choose your route. So I would like to go to line 10 and right now I'm at Ujia Chang station and I would like to go to Shanghai Zoo so Shanghai Zoo okay so fair value 5 yuan this is the really good thing about Shanghai metro price is extremely cheap so one ticket for me and here we go we are going to insert our cash in here we go yay yay I made it I'm outside now and then after that I will grab a taxi I really have no idea like which exit I should take I just randomly taking exit one but okay let's hope that I take the right one Can I go to this place? 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 
不是，不是，因为我们要在绕圈子，到时候你又有意见。OK。这就前面不好掉头的，你知道吧 ？OK。Life is not easy, so I just come out from subway station. However, I cannot find any taxi. None of the taxi is willing to take me. So the guy that I supposed to meet at the hospital, he is really kind. He said that he will walk here to the station and then he will just kind of like pick me up and then we can walk back to the hospital together. He's so kind. Like I always meeting kind people here, thanks to everything in the world. Okay, so we will just wait for him. But I kind of like the weather today. I don't know why, because maybe because I came from Thailand. Uh -huh. Curious. <laughs> for me, it's very cold. Yeah, and also information about Thailand. People don't need to take the mask every day. In Thailand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I would say yes. Maybe 80%. Do you have any plan for New Year? New Year? You're going back home? Uh, go to Japan. Really? Yeah, I want to go to Japan. I like to go to Japan. I also want to go to Japan. <laughs> Japan is very nice and it's really close. Yeah, they're close to Shanghai. <laughs> So, I have done with the medical check, it was so fast, like less than one hour to be honest and now I'm extremely hungry, I said goodbye to Jeff and then let's find something to eat, preparing for Chinese New Year Finally I decided to go for a really small local shop So the price here is a lot cheaper than what I have yesterday in the shopping mall So I will show the menu that I had yesterday in the mall this one is really delicious with big portion. It costs 32 yuan. Now I am coming to, I think, a really similar restaurant to what I had yesterday, but by the street, the local one. So let's see what does it look like. until this minute please type amazing shanghai yeah thank you very much for watching and staying up until now basically i like this video so much this is like the first step for me to have a chance to explore shanghai you can definitely expect more videos to come i will also be working on apartment hunting video if anyone is interested stay tuned this video will definitely be coming out because right now i'm working so hard to find the apartment if anybody of you have some good suggestion feel free to write down it comment below i hope you guys have a great year great start of the year and soon there will be chinese new year the biggest festival i think i was super lucky because i got to explore shanghai during chinese new year there must be so many things to do for me so yeah happy chinese new year for you in advance and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye